better look around i'll just notice i probably didn't i got this thing right here uh these gates aren't very good by the way in theory but you can tell these aren't welded on everyone so they just pop off or if they are they're not welded very well so i've had to uh use some wire to keep it on they're a real thin pipe so um, i wouldn't trust it you see how one got started ramming the bottom i use this and put a little thing in there just to keep it from them jarring it loose um temporary but gotta use t-post clips or cheaper you can go this route just use some gauge wire and you can buy it for like a quarter mile of wire for cheap cattle panels um i got them kind of overlapped a little bit in case and put as probably more the better for wire still flimsy but you can always run an electric line too it'll work just to keep them off it and like i said this is just temporary because i'm building <coughs> i'm building a uh i just got the wire dropped yesterday from fedex um i'm building a interior i guess perimeter fence uh, you see where that sand line is and i got the the bracing i haven't i don't have it braced up yet the railroad ties for corners and that's where my fencing will go so the dirt area will be trees i'm gonna plant citrus trees all the way around and that way the goats so i'm gonna put my fence up first that way the goats don't kill my trees and then this front will be for these bucklings and then all the way in the rear we'll have a decent size for the for the does and then whenever time comes we'll have another little setup for splitting them up and uh different bucks and stuff but what we got going on these bucks have been killing the grass so i just planted and i've been keeping it wet so it's starting to come in already but we're already uh, over 100 degrees down here Yeah, oh, uh, by the way, those weights are, I mean, he got his head stuck, but he didn't, um, 150 day weights, um, so that's what I, 30, 60, 90, 150, and he's our heaviest one, he was born at 10 and a half pounds, and he's staying 10 pounds ahead of the other two, so he's 87.4 pounds today, and the lightest um i think he's 74 pounds another purebred he's kind of tall and lanky but he's he's 77.4 i believe Not pretty, but this is what I have for the kind of like a catch pen. Catch pen. You got the bucklings that we're gonna keep, I think, <clears throat> in here. Temporary. I just got my fencing in yesterday to complete the perimeter. Um, you see, I have this little kind of wide right here. It goes to a narrow didn't really pressure him out there but you got on the scale right there put it on some paper so it's even and I just put this up for now so it keeps them from if you push them too hard they'll crash through it or jump over it or sometimes get under it and for the ones that won't go in um, they kind of figure it out after a while that they avoid that I just use this little hook but works pretty well and yeah the mom's out there that uh Diablo's Trinidad right there she's the 
mother to this one. So he's a purebred. That uh, Sasha, she's the mother to this, uh, I don't know what color you call that, it's almost like a roan. And then this Dalmatian right here. Actually, that's her doling from a year ago. But the big guy is hers. He came in at 80, 87.4. Um, <clears throat> he came at 77.4. And this roan colored one came in at, I think, 74 pounds even. The scale I use is an A&A. &A. I think it's ANA, uh, VS660, so it goes up to 660 pounds. Plenty for what I need here for goats. Um, it does come with like a little rubber mat, but if you're doing this outside, it's today is pretty calm, but when it's any kind of breeze, that thing just flops off. So if you can get a situation where it's contained in an actual <coughs> area that blocks the wind, then Probably beneficial, but I think eventually the goats would tear that mat up. But um, yeah, you just set it up on some papers and make sure the legs underneath aren't screwed all the way in tight. Make sure there's a little bit of a uh, loosening so that it's not bottoming out. So that way you get an accurate uh, weight. Because if it's all the way bottomed out, um, the chances of your accuracy is going to be lower. But it comes with a nice little digital readout. You can change it, uh, zero it do kilos or pounds and it works really well it's a little heavy but I just dump it in the tractor there and use that to move it around